We can do it later if we need to. Right, so yeah, no, 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 no. we are going to move on. So you enter the... You go for this hatch, and it, it's not so much actually the sewers of Vasselheim as it is um, sort of the underways of Vasselheim. It's like the kind of space between cellars and... You know, a lot of old cities had these kind of undercrofts beneath them. So it's not like you're moving through sewage water as much as just kind of long forgotten or disused tunnels. And you move through all these long forgotten or disused tunnels. And you, you kind of just know where you're supposed to go. Like you, um, you, you kind of expect to get lost, but you just have this un, unerring certainty of which direction you're supposed to be heading in. <laughs> And you, you follow this way, and you find yourself in a... Um, can everyone see okay? Yes. yes. Let's, let's just make sure that we at least know exactly how we came here. Yes, because <laughs> so maybe getting out might be trickier. Like... Or speedy retreat. <laughs> Are we supposed to be able to see whatever that is up there? Uh, no. It looks like it's partly coming out of a wall. It is partly coming out of a wall. I have a feeling that this is all going to go fine. We're not going <laughs> to run into anything large or terrifying. Uh, yeah, or you're... anything yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shit. Uh, I am using the advanced <laughs> Fog of War for the first time. So just let me know if we're having any problems with it. Right. Okay. Right, so yeah, you're in this long wooden corridor. Uh, there's many different like splits going off, but just a little ways ahead of you, you can see um, a sort of wee spot of light. And... Uh, yeah, you can see that kind of up ahead. Uh, there's a large, large man sitting on a chair just by the light, uh, sort of staring off into at nothing. Um, does he look friendly? All I know is he has a weight problem. I um, can't actually see um, because I'm uh, I don't have dark vision, but Snufflet informed me. Can you not see? Because he has a light next to him. No, so. no, no. I, I can. Oh, yeah, I suppose I would be able to see the light. I don't know. Um, whatever. Snufflet can see it. Yeah. Joe's um, blind anyway. Do you want to roll an insight check on him? If you send your owl to kind of look at him. <laughs> yeah, an owl's going to land next to him and sort of eye him up and down. <laughs> would that be an insight from Snufflet then? Or would It'd be an be insight from you if you're looking through his eyes. If it's just Snufflet doing it and sending information back, it would be... Uh, Snufflet's inside. She's, she's going to land there and sort of look at him. Uh, Joe through her eyes. Inside. 13? 13. Um, he's, he's a big dude. Uh, his body is like crisscrossed in many different scars. Uh, all over his body. Um, he's tall, like seven foot tall. And just staring kind of blankly ahead. Um... Not really paying much attention to anything. Pretty hard to get any real information out of that expression. But he looks like a man who would be very capable of violence. Uh, he looks like a man who would be very capable of violence. Uh, before we go in, we should probably have some kind of story as to why we're here. Yes, a plan would be good. What are we um, actually going well, to do? If we I accidentally do... flushed my wedding ring down the toilet and we're all here to retrieve it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that sounds like a great plan. We need a believable plan. We do know that the, the youngest one, the hanged one, is looking for strong fighters. Most of us kind of resemble that, he says. Look at Joe. I do resemble a strong fighter. I agree 110%. <laughs> Unless anyone here is any good with music, this might be our best opportunity. I'm afraid yeah. not. I, I, I could whistle, which is uh, how I got my name, but it's not very good. Hmm. Well, then we'll just have to fight, then. Seems so, do you guys start moving up towards the door? Are you kind of talking and walking? What's up these stairs? Yeah. Or down these stairs? Um, what are these stairs? Th th it looks like another one of the many kind of corridors you've passed going off in a random direction. Because uh, we should have taken a right, and then a right, and then a left, and then when we get to the fat man with scars, we should... I can't remember what she said. I believe or it was Humpernickel. Humpernickel? I could be wrong. 
Well, let's hope you aren't. Oh no one else remembers anything better. Right. <laughs> no. Let's start moving then. You, we're here. you make your way we're along. Fighters, we heard they're looking for. They were looking for. Okay, so you, you approach. People. The guy sort of looks up from the empty space he was staring at, and kind of looks at you placidly as you approach. Greetings. Hello. He raises a hand and points a thumb at a sign just over his shoulder that says password. <laughs> what did you say there? You broke up a little. <clears throat> uh, Humpernickel. He tilts his head at you and kind of like Isn't points it at it. Humpernickel? He groans and points at the sign again. Pumpernickel? Uh, I'm faced... sure if we keep saying the same word enough times, he will cave and let us in. He face palms. <laughs> oh wait, is he pointing to a sign over his shoulder? Let me get closer. Password. Is there like a post-it note? <laughs> uh, no. He points at the sign again, like, emphatically. Just beyond the door you can hear what sounds like low music and voices talking. I'm gonna be honest with you, son. I am very old. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't, 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 don't totally interrupt me. Respect your old, the elders. <laughs> I am very old, I don't quite remember the password. I thought it was hump, Pumpernickel. Humpy Pumpernickel. Am I close? He nods. Damn you. Um, it's probably Humperdink. Uh, he reaches out and opens the door. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think that's right. It doesn't sound... <laughs> Is it hump me hard? <laughs> uh, when the door opens... I the room. Uh, the sound of music and laughter and like raucous sound pours out at you. Um, and yeah, a room full of people in various activities and sights and smells all assault you at once. Um, directly ahead of you, two bugbears and a group of goblins are rowdily drinking and devouring um, a meal in front of them. One of their companions lying drunk and unconscious on the floor at their feet. Uh, off to your left, a a fight has just finished taking place inside that circle. A towering um, man of, with grey skin, who most of you probably guess as a, is a half-ogre, has just finished knocking some poor fellow unconscious, and is standing up, like, holding his battle axe above his head, cheering, and the, the goblins and hobgoblins are cheering him on. Uh, beyond that, there's a bar, with uh, a few patrons sitting at it, a uh, ugly little um, tro uh, goblin lady and a, a towering uh, half-orc with the most pulverized face you've ever seen. It looks like the bottom part of his lip got bitten off at some stage. Uh, and a, pretty, <laughs> a pretty barmaid sort of stands behind watching the display and cleaning a few glasses. Near the goblins sits a table of I mean, there's no other word for it. They look like a table of adventurers. A tall man with a sword and a cleric and a spellcastery looking sword and a roguish fellow. All sitting, having a, a quiet conversation. Uh, directly beside you on the right when you come in, a group of men are playing cards. Um, sort of dealing and shuffling and playing cards uh, with each other. They're quite engrossed in the game. There's a halfling and two humans. One of the tables is overrun by kobolds who are watching on um, as a group of one cobalt, a larger cobalt, a tall towering man, an orc, and a dwarf, appear to be setting up and preparing to play a drinking game. Lots and lots of ale and uh, whiskey has been put in front of them, and there's a jester kind of talking and chatting to them all. Uh, there are two Is that beautiful... Captain Bob? Uh, sure. <laughs> Two beautiful serving girls are moving in amongst the crowd, smiling and sort of get handing people drinks and taking orders and trying to avoid, like, 
gropey hands. Another huge guy with scars stands over by a door leading out outside again, and also next to a staircase going downstairs. Uh, he looks similar to the other guy, covered in scars, bald head, staring blankly out at the crowd. And it wouldn't be a tavern in Taldori without somebody who's managed to find a dark corner to stand in, uh, who's standing <laughs> watching the crowd with his hood pulled up over his head, and uh, kind of watching everything go on around them. And there are several doors leading out, one behind the bar, which you guess is kind of a staff door, one going down some stairs, one leading outside where you can see a few more people, and one leading into kind of a, some side rooms, although it looks like that is open for people to head into. Um, I have a thought. I just want to quickly do something first. I want to move to there in the room and use my free casting of Detect Good and Evil. Okay. I will click very briefly, because, you know, I want, I want to see if any of these guys are, are, are good guys or bad guys. Is that what Detect Good and Evil does? No, it doesn't really do that. It says in this <laughs> way it does. <laughs> Cool. Uh, let me just check something. It's with. It's only within thirty feet. I tried to cover as many of the people as I yeah. can, but I won't be able to get all of them. There's definitely one undead. <laughs> There's definitely uh, one hard. undead. Vincius, why it's didn't you to... tell me? <laughs> uh, Joe, it's, it's for the duration, so you can do it for up to ten minutes. You can just walk around. Yeah, wander around. Every now and then, a GM is faced Excuse with me. kind of a moment or a decision where they built a whole sort of encounter around a certain idea, you know, people having to investigate and discover things, forgetting the random powers of their party. Um, <laughs> that one asshole. Yeah. I haven't seen Divine Sense yet. Yeah, yeah I, I totally completely forgot magic. about the existence of Divine Sense, and like, which let you just pick out phase. So they're 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 afraid. they either make up some bullshit. I I could forget that. <laughs> no, no, they can either make up some bullshit um, to try and make things go the way they kind of originally wanted, or they can let their uh, players use this uh, this ability. I'm going to let you guys just get this because that's what your ability does. And I just checked their covenants coven spells. They don't have non detect or anything like that. So no nistrils. Yeah, invisible. Da, 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 da. Just checking some stuff. Appears bonus action. Change from physical inspection. Uh, yeah, we just see through their disguises, wouldn't it? If they have disguise magic on. I would get a rough idea that they are fey, and I know we're looking for. Cool. Things. Yeah. Um, you know that the barmaid is a fey. I suspected as much as why I made sure I was within 30 feet of her. Yeah. I always suspect the barmaid. And yeah, I'm going the, to move the, bar, and go... the barmaid is a fey. Uh, but you don't I sense any, any other fey uh, presences in the room. That's good to know. I, mean... I have made an alarming discovery. There's a lump on my left breast. It's slightly concerning. And Oh, no. Uh, no. The, the barmaid, I think, may be the hag that we're looking for. I have a thought, though. If we I... wanted to impress her, we could probably put Lucian in the ring against that big guy, and to be honest, Lucian has never been hurt in his life. <laughs> That's not entirely true. He That's... is still plated. <laughs> hmm. Do we have any idea which which one it might be? I mean, we could always go up and talk to her. She's a barmaid. That's kind of expected, but... My guess would be, judging from looking at her, that she, she's the the beautiful, the pretty one. The maid, then. So, not the one we're looking for. She'd have more interest in the music, then. I'm honestly only guessing, though. I mean, for all I know, she could just be some random succubi. Thus, succubus. You notice people are starting to look in your direction? Because you've walked in yeah. and then just we all crowded all... around the door yeah, and began no, whispering exactly. to each other. <laughs> Well, there's no spare tables, you bastards. What do you expect us to do? No, Mingle, you prick! <laughs> <laughs> we should so come out. here often. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look around. I'm going to get a drink. Ah. So I'm going to walk up to the bar. 
Like, I just ask what, like, this barmaid, which I hope maybe I know that that's a fae now, but whatever. I just try to ask her for a drink, but instead I completely, like, burp in her face. <laughs> so Norris walks up. This pretty sort of... I, and I try to do, like, the normal thing, but I can't. Like, there's no way something t- just comes over me. Yeah. So you walk up, there's this pretty barmaid. She's got kind of, like, a cherub face and, like, sandy blonde hair. And as she's sort of saying, oh, what can I... You just go, Bleh! in her face. And she blinks. <laughs> and, like, licks her lips briefly. Oh. It's like... I... Well, that has never happened to me before. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, well, that was a thing. Do, do you was... think his burps smell like cherry pie? No, strawberry well, pies. Well, that was good. <laughs> Say... And like just well, like random food. farts, like just you know, this is kind of like this. This is all like there's apparently like a situation going on here, and it's just like a little bit more embarrassing than a lot of you would have initially have like thought it would be. <laughs> He's trying to order a drink. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're. I I'm think confused. you're. Does your friend with the problem need a drink? Is this your son, old man? Oh, no. My son's a bastard. Actually, he might be my son. I don't remember. God, Are you know. my I son? I, I, that would explain a lot, but I don't think so. Hmm. But you do anything to me, you old man. <laughs> uh, so, drinks. Um, Just a, a pint of ale for everyone? Or does anyone want anything different? Yeah. Whiskey. Alright, he, she starts... Actually... I Please. was wondering if, um, you know, vice? Yeah, yeah, do you do anything a little, a little, a little, um, a, a little, a little stronger? Spice? She, she leans in and goes, you, uh, you spice? Spice? Yeah. Spice? Any spice? 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 Okay. Ah, uh, yes, that's, um, if you go through that door over there... And she like points oh, there we off go. over in that direction. Uh, that door over there, and head up. You just follow your nose. I I have a further question. Um, I mean, she she kind of begins serving just... drinks as you as you talk and like yeah, pouring yeah. pints of ale and stuff. Do do you do you spice? Do you spice? Do... <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, what are you? Do you do you spice? I I spice. Do you, do you? You spice. I mean, I, I could spice if you spice. Well, no, I'm just wondering because I mean, I want to know if it's good quality here, and no, obviously, if you spies. if you oh spies, Are we spies. No, oh, no, there's you... no spies here. No, this is there's no Harpers here. No, right? if you want pies, you need to go to Herman's Bakery. <laughs> I haven't been there in a while, but it's very nice. H- Herman's. I feel ba- like we're getting off topic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, here's your drink. <laughs> she pushes like some ale towards you, some whiskey I'm, I'm towards Norris. Discern... And uh, Norris, the whiskey kind of comes towards you. It's like a nice sort of scotch, but you just feel like a strong craving for like some good scummy drink. Like you're wanting like right, some tonic some... wine that just gets you drunk really fast. Some grape wine. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, so, I mean, the, the people are watching. I, coming, but... I, I mean, I, I, th- I thought I knew what I wanted, and then I just, you know, I take the glass and I just, I just, I just pour it on the ground like real slow. Like uh, I need some, I need something filthy. Give me some. I'm filthy. an adult. I don't need your beer. <laughs> uh, she nods and she pours you like this. I think it. You know what it is? It's it's orcish uh, orcish wine, which oh, has God. chunks in it, <laughs> and no human oh. would normally drink, but everyone secretly drinks when they want to get really rarsed. So yeah, pours you this not, like okay. f- chunky orcish wine and pushes it across to you. It smells rancid. Everyone kind of looks at yeah. you. I take it and I just like take a large. Yeah, it goes down, you know, like mud, but delicious mud. And you feel like a happy warmth inside you. 
Oh, that was... Mm. One for me wow. as well, please. <laughs> I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself while I remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Because I always fucking forget. <laughs> so you cast Mage Armor, and she's like, um, I mean, she looks at you actually and goes, yeah, no, that's a smart idea in this pub. Like, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Bug- <laughs> to be honest, if if he's violently sick, I don't have a lot of health. It'd probably kill me. Um, I'm I'm going to go and, and I don't want to break your game, but I, I feel like with my Detect Good and Evil still up, I'm going to go and check out the Spice Bar, everyone. <laughs> How long does it take to get anyone down there that I re- huh? I'll follow you. Because I, I get the idea that the barmaid isn't the sea hag because it doesn't seem like she's that keen on the spice. Hey, maybe she just doesn't spice. Spice. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, you head oh. back into the, the rooms behind. It gets a little darker, a little seedier back here. It was pretty seedy to begin with. You can hear the sounds. There's a few guys playing cards. It's like a smaller, more um, VIP-looking card table. Vice, vice, use vice. Wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then oh, this this room here stinks of spice. Uh, the one you one you just walked into. Is this person passed out. Uh, I mean, they're kind of their eyes are glazed over, and they're looking, you know, off in sort of a random direction. They're, they're, they're high off their tits. And in the middle of the room, there's like a, a bowl of crystal. Do I do I um, sense if they're a fae? Uh, the person passed out is not a fae, no. There's a bowl of crystal. Uh, there's can a bowl I of spice. Take... <laughs> like, but, like I, mostly take... used spice. Like, this is what she was smoking. Oh, it's used spice. And yeah. it's a woman, you say? Yeah. I would like to search her. As Lucian moves away, I would like to um, search her for <laughs> anything that might be, you know, squishy or, uh, I mean, valuable. <laughs> <laughs> um, suddenly, like, eight beholders appear in that room and just kill Smelly Joe, uh, and then they disappear again. It's really weird. Uh, I had a good life. <laughs> <laughs> Dick, God, this is how I wanted to go. I <laughs> uh, know, they are... There's Taking nothing on they, they, you shit beholders. They, <laughs> they don't they don't seem to have anything uh, valuable on them. Hmm. But they're still alive, they're just out of it. So the spice is no good to be. Uh detect used to good and evil. I'm I'm not seeing any oh component was verbal and somatic and you cast it when you went into the room. No no no, it lasts for ten minutes. Yeah, and I cast you... it when I came into the pub. Yeah, so you went into the pub and visibly cast a spell of Detect Good and Evil. Yeah, I guess. He was uh, no, he was in the middle of the room as well. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know it lasted 10 minutes. I, I may have cast it outside if I'd remembered it lasted 10 minutes. But I actually, no, I was, I was near the doorway when I said I cast it and then I moved over. Oh, whatever. Um, I, I think you visibly cast it. That's kind of worse. Possibly. <laughs> yeah, you went into the middle and, and cast this spell. So yeah, I'm just checking something. Um, and then I cast another one when I was at the bar. I'm yeah, casting magic all over this bit. I know. This <laughs> <laughs> old man just coming here and, and saying strange arcane words and throwing his hand about. Um, you know what? As soon as I find the toilets, I'm going to magic mess all that motherfucker. This is probably the only pub in Vasselheim where he can do that. <laughs> Yeah, and even as I, I, you know what, it's fine because for some reason hags don't have dispel magic, so never mind. <laughs> Just anything to stop this guy from fucking the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, there is a thing about hags, they can just randomly have a spell if you want them to have it, because of like their weird magics, but they have to like do something Tender very obvious, they have to do, it's, even, it's in the, like, the thing, but... You they have to do something very obvious and weird to do it. So she'd have to like crush a toad in front of you or something. Which no one's doing at the moment. So yeah, your spell's still up. Cool. No crushing of toads. Uh oh, another passed out lady or No, no. So in the middle of this room there's a woman, um she's got two swords and she's uh sort of dancing, doing kind of a, a sort of uh exotic sort of uh dance with these blades and moving around. And you can hear like there's music coming from in the room. There's a uh, somebody in there playing a uh, playing an instrument. I I move in there with her, and it's like the dance scene from Pulp Fiction. 
<laughs> she joins. To what do, we doing? Uh, roll, roll performance. <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't know whether I want this to be good or not. <laughs> <laughs> that the dice to oh, yes. <laughs> Ideal. Yeah, I mean, you start oh, shimmying, no. and your like uh, burlap sack clothing just falls off your body, uh, off your like wrinkled <laughs> bones, and lands on the floor. <laughs> And she looks That's down dad, and starts baby. giggling and covers her mouth. And then, you know, that, that's that's how your dancing goes. As reactions go, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. Lucian, stop laugh. staring. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get the feeling that she's a fae? No, there's the no ball? sense of uh, fae from her. Yeah. Um, so it's a lot nice dancing. I'm sorry about the nudity. Um, I'll pick my robes up in a few minutes. Um, so, um, spice? Do you spice? Oh, no, I, I don't spice, no. Well, okay. not while I'm working. Uh, they pay you to dance alone in a room? I'm not going to question it. It's fine. I normally have more people watching, but the, the games are about to begin. Oh, the, the game? games. The games, um... They're going to hold a drinking contest. Uh, there's the people playing cards, the boxing, well, fighting, you can use weapons, the archery contest outside. Uh, and if you win, you, you get to go to the VIP room and drink for free for the rest of the night with your friends. Ah, is the ah. VIP room through this um, door here? Uh, there's no door there. That's that's just a wall. Well, I... that, that's in the corridor. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, um, yeah. There, there's a door there on the original map I used, but there's not one in the... Ah, now I'm familiar with the map. This is the, the dog one, isn't it? Yeah. It's also downstairs. Um, yeah. Where is where is the spice room? I wish to purchase... Oh, did oh I it's, the spice, room, the it's the room next door. There was only a passed out person in there who wasn't very squishy, but, but helpful. Oh, if you want to buy spice, you'll have to talk to the barmaid. She'll sell you some, and then you can smoke it in that area. Son of a bitch, she sent me through here for no fucking reason. I'm <laughs> bastard. Thank you! So, wait, real quick, before Joe goes any further, because you were away for a few seconds there, did anyone else do anything? Yeah. Did Nors uh, or Finch Rogar? Was kind of scratching. Yeah, Finch was just kind of go over scratching his back off the counter for a while. Just Yeah, gotta get that itch. Some noises. Yeah, he gets on his back, he, just, he can't really hit it. Then he had small little, like, uh, mewling, happy noises. And then he noticed everyone else, had, well, most of the others had kind of gone, so he went over to find them. But uh, there was a big guy in the way, so he just kind of stood there and looked at him awkwardly. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, no worries, you're just having your, like, chunky wine. I, I am basically, like, finishing the rest of my drink, and, like, like let's see how bad it actually is. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow. I mean, I was going to say, like, dancing. it's one of those things where it's like, it's just one drink, even if it's super strong orcish wine, it's just one drink, but on a one, yeah, you're yeah, feeling, like, like sometimes pretty the first inebriated. One just, like, Your head's cloudy. Yeah, no, sometimes the first one just hits you like a truck, right? Like, yeah. it just sometimes happens, right? You now. think some of the chunk in there might have been, like, you know, berries that popped and had stuff Something in it? Vodka or something. Yeah. <laughs> so you're feeling pretty, <laughs> pretty, spiced. pretty spiced. Um... Yeah. <laughs> and Rogar's just kind of keeping an eye on the fighter and that. Oh. No, he's he's talking to the goblins. <laughs> All right, yeah. So you you go over. There's a group of uh, hobgoblins. And when you get closer, they actually seem relatively familiar, although you're not sure why at first like glance. Uh, do you want to? Can you roll a perception check for me? Rogar, if you could roll a perception check. Yeah, there we it. go, cool. Once you heard me. Uh, yeah, you reckon they're probably from the same tribe as the hobgoblins who were hired to kill you and your friends during your the Lamia contract. Although they're not showing any recognition towards you. It's just like, oh, these are poss there's possibly a tribe of these. Uh, Smelly Joe, you got to go back. There oh, was somebody sorry. blocking the way for you. Uh, so yeah, you, you see these guys and they're... Yeah, they're there, they're drinking, they're chuckling, laughing to each other. And uh, when they see you approach, they look up at you, and they go... And one of them goes, I'm sorry... Actually, what's my, I want my hobgoblin voice spirit. 
I'm a, I'm a sorry there, mate. Uh, you got a, the, the, the dark corner? The dark corner is already taken by one of you uh, hooded fellas. So, you know, maybe if you turn some lights off, you'll have a nice, nice place to stand. And they all sort of chuckle and the goblins giggle. You know, so two goblins are like sharing I one seat. Start speaking goblin. I'm just like, I'm not looking for a dark corner. I'm just looking for some conversation. Oh, I see you. You speak. Uh, you speak the tongue of uh, the goblin. Well, that, that that's a rare trait in uh, in uh, in the man folk. Uh, what what do you want to talk about, my good friend? I ain't seen you. Uh, uh, ain't seen you round here, nuns. Yeah, this is my first time coming. I was wondering what you could tell me about this place. Oh, this place. This place a fine place to come and get yourself a drink. Like, come here, watch your fight. Our boy over there, Krong. Krong's uh, won a couple of fights now. Hoping to fight the champion, get us a, a night in the VIP room. All the spice drink and girls we can have, plus we get to meet the, the owner. So, the looking champion. forward to it. Uh, yeah, yeah, there, there's another fire. There, there's another arena downstairs. Whoever is, uh, does best in the fights gets to fight him at the end. And know anything about spice? I use, use spice. Where, where I can get spice? Where I can smoke it? <laughs> My girlfriend keeps walking the room and just hearing me going, spice, spice. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh yeah, the barmaid will, will sell you some. And you just got to smoke it in the outside of this room. As it's a bit weird when people just start tripping balls in the middle of the uh, common room. Very understandable. Enjoy your drinks, lads. I think, are, you, are you considering fighting Krong? He needs the... The last guy wasn't much of a match for him. You look like you could uh, hold your own. Me? Oh, oh, no, no, no. I'm more interested in... Did You You said there was an archery contest. I did not. No. But, uh, but yeah, they're, 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 I'm, I'm turning into Herklock. Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's an archery contest outside. It's uh, They're going to start in a few minutes. They want to let the card game go a little longer before they move on to that. Uh, same thing as in there. Whoever wins gets to... Uh, gets, gets, my accent is wandering badly. Gets to uh, have a night in the VIP room. Free drink. Yeah, sounds good. I might have my friend fight your lad over there, though. I the smash little man running. with hood. The big guy kind of wanders closer. Smash bit little man. Uh, no, no, Krung. No. It's okay. You just wait. We will send someone else over to smash. Krong wait. Krong pet pretty owl. Someone... I will find <laughs> you somebody to fight. Oh, that, that is a fine idea. Uh, we we want to see Krong <laughs> get a real challenge before the night's over. Is that man dead in there? He, he looks dead. <laughs> he, he hasn't moved for a while. Uh, <laughs> the medic normally gets him by now. <laughs> And you see, like, a, a young kind of squirrely guy comes over and grabs the guy lying down and drags him off to the side and uh, checks his pulse and shrugs and <laughs> goes back to watching the, the arena. I also shrug, and then I tell, and I, like, lift my drink, take a swig, and walk away. Cool. Um, so, Smelly Joe, when you come around the corner, one of the, the big fella who was watching the room is standing there. Or waiting for you to come around the corner. You know, obviously waiting. Hello. He raises a hand and waves. Can I get past? He shakes his head. Please? Shakes his head. He he reaches, like, into his pocket and brings out, like, a book. And flicks through it. Flicks through it. Nods. Holds up um, a page. And someone's written on the page in big writing... And then, like, writing underneath it in Goblin and then writing underneath that in Orc, the same word. Dispel, please. I don't know what the words say. Well, dispel what? He points at it and then sort of does similar motions to you did when you kind of cast your, uh, your spell when you first came in. Ah, my mage armor, you mean. Shakes his head. Does the motions for detect good and evil. Like, very clumsily does them. 
But you know, he was staring directly at you when you did them, so he tries to copy them as best he can. Yeah, he he nightlights as a wizard. Uh, he's taking evening classes. Mm. He's got potential, they say. As... Magic initiate feed, man. <laughs> I mean, how would he know that I've dispelled it? Can I do some sort of check to see if he would have any way of telling that I wasn't doing it anymore? You would have to roll. I don't uh, even know how he knows. What I'm... You'd have to roll a deception check. Okay, I will go. Oh, oh! You want me to, to stop doing the that that piece of magic? Well, uh, abracadabra! There we go. It's all gone. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's have a look. Pretty good. Not too bad since I've got plus zero. <laughs> yeah. Um, just checking something. Seems to be something Wait, I see oh a lot God. today. <clears throat> Smelly Joe is more charisma than Finch. <laughs> I've, I've, just got, I've got a plus zero. <laughs> and yet I has nine. more charisma. Might as well. How uh, do you have ten charisma? I have eleven. <laughs> I rolled two. Whoa! Yeah, you should have just actually just nerfed that to like four, just because. <laughs> I rolled some good stats. That's, I don't know. That I, is my I think he's stat. strangely charismatic. Actually, my strength is a ten, yeah. so it's not my lowest stat. But I love grappling I mean, things. So. I basically <laughs> just intimidates people. With his ending. Oh my god! I don't want to think about that. <laughs> it's best you don't. Yep. Sorry, I'm just looking for a character sheet and all the many many character sheets from. There it is. Oh, that's the wrong kind of hag. Oh, I never made one for that hag. <laughs> I'm an idiot. He's a hag? <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, you look across the room and you you see the barmaid. And she... Nods. Like, yep, yeah, it's cool, he did it. And uh, the big guy steps out of your way. And, and I think he flicks through his book and then points at another page that has the word thank you written on it. And then, like, goes back to his his little spot. We apologize for the inconvenience. We apologize for I'm the sorry, I didn't. I didn't realize the rules are around here. I do apologize. So, spice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Let's just get back to the address, Joe. So yeah, you you can see there's this drinking game about to begin. Uh, a card game in progress. The boxing and the uh, archery outside. You guess all of them are kind of like ways to get a night in the VIP room. Or, like, you know, be part of the VIPs who get free drink and free whatever they want. Um, there's also, you know, gr the group of adventurers, group of goblins and random people here and there. So, yeah, oh, it seems like the only way to get, like, in the VIP room is going to be to complete one of these tasks. Mm -hmm. Possibly try and compete in multiple ones. It sounds like they all take place at similar times. So, you know... If, you don't, if one of your friends fails their one, you want to have a backup plan. Lucian, sure. fight this man. <clears throat> um, I go up to the person who looks like he's officiating the fights, if there is one. Uh, there is There is the guy who dragged the unconscious body away. What are the rules? Oh, uh, um... He looks at you and, and, oh, I just heal people when they get messed up. Um, rules don't kill each other is preferred, it, but not necessary. Right. Those are some of the uh, <clears throat> best rules I've ever heard. Lucian, Lucian, uh, you must understand that this is not the only fight. If you kill him, I mean, if you make him unconscious, wink, wink, then there is one more fight for you to have. I, I do apply no. some healing when, when the fight is over, just to patch people up. Oh, that's very generous of you. That's, that's my pleasure. Can't have people too beat up when they fight the champ. So, is, is this an unarmed fight? Uh, he nods at the big ogre who like hefts his battle axe over his shoulder i'll say that's a no okay you, you must be unarmed but he gets the axe it just makes <laughs> it fair of course 
Okay, sign me up. You're going to cool. use your evil katana. Uh, we'll do another fight. and We're going to do another fight in like 15 minutes or so. I think it's fair. We'll let people like get down for the card game a little bit and get ready for the drinking game and that sort of thing. So I'd watch up. Uh, the hobgoblins begin booing you. Like, boo! Boo! I, that, that is not right! Boo! What's not right? I mean, look at you. You are encased head to toe in plate mail. That is like showing up and... to bare knuckle boxing with a fireball spell. Boo! And? Uh, uh, it's it's, 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 un, it's unsportsmanly. Yeah, He's only wearing hides. Hard? Hard. Hard armor. Hard. Hard armor. I don't speak goblin, you weird people. You better watch your mouth, old man, or I'll come over there and knock your fucking teeth out. I don't goblin. think he has any anymore. <laughs> or how many do you have, Joe? Uh, what? Teeth? Uh, teeth, yeah. Uh, let me check my pocket. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have played him. Well played, sir. Well played, sir. <laughs> yeah, boo, it, it, it's unsportsmanly, we say, to, to fight in full plate mail and this kind of thing. Well, in which case, I open my backpack and get out my spare set of uh, splint mail and lob it at the guy on the other side of the ring. Okay, he is a half-ogre, so... <laughs> Is a good foot taller than you, and like significantly wider. So he sort of looks down at it. He can try. Picks it up. Uh, uh. Well, first you undo that strap here. I know uh, how armor I... works. Uh, I think. Um, okay. Okay. He, he starts <laughs> trying. He, he does the thing where he pulls like it some of it on but he can only get one arm through and like half of it over his head <clears throat> and he gets stuck uh, uh it's a trick he's tricking me no 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 i'll, I'll start trying to adjust it for him a little okay um <laughs> if it was a pc i'd be like there's no way this fits but i think you get down to it and it's like he's got rolls of fat coming over the top of it and it's incredibly oh, like shit. it's just way too big for him, but he's it's it's in him and it's offering him protection. It's just like I don't think I can ever take protection. I can't take this off again, like ever. I think I'll live in this now. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. He was on the it's verge fine. It's he fine. Was on the verge of I wish I knew how to quit you. I wish I knew <laughs> how to quit you. <laughs> um what, what what does splint mail make his AC? Oh, uh, it's... 17? One less than plate mail. Okay, yeah, so 17. 17. Yeah, 17. Alright, so he pulls it on, I'm a fond of and the hobgoblins kind of like go, and cheer, and they're like, alright, that's pretty cool. That guy's not too bad. <laughs> alright, so you're you're lining up to, uh, to engage this, this half-ogre in, in mortal combat. Um, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Um... Uh, uh, before we go, I, uh, Finch taps Lucian on the shoulder. Yes. yes. Lucian, do you yeah. want to try using one of these? And I got to pass him one of my hour-long growth potions. What is this? <laughs> you want to get bigger? <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's a time and a place. I do like a Viagra salesman. Like, is that what you do? If everything goes, then uh, I mean, Norris, you're like, yeah, I want to get bigger. I, I I feel that we should be doing this fairly. Yes, it's it's a competition. <laughs> we we should be. He says doing he this slavers butter. his sword with righteous butter. <laughs> Just fairly. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to be cooking with this later. <laughs> cool. So you're going gotcha. to do that. You're going to do that fight. Uh, anyone choice. else? Anyone else interested in a competition? Archery. Yep, I had a feeling. Uh, the, and the uh, other one was drinking. I all of these competitions are out of Joe's league. No. Uh, well, there is also cards. Uh, cards for like a game mechanical perspective, you use either insight to kind of try and judge the poker faces of your opponents, 
or you'd use investigation to try and count cards. That sounds, that sounds amazing. I'll try that. But I'd yeah. be better at investigation. So yeah, we could both do. But cards. I'm like really good at insight. <laughs> I'm good at investigation. Oh, then we should be able to do it. Like somehow. Uh... But there's only one spot, right? Actually, we could kick one of them out. Probably. No, no, you, you guys could uh, both play, but only one of you would go through. You think there's apparently there's another round after this. Right. Yeah. But you could Finch both play. Finch is going to drinking table. Finch is going to go join the is drinking this... table. Is this the right table? Yep, yeah, that's the right table. There's a jester kind of <laughs> making jokes. There's a bunch of kobolds laughing and catcalling, um, and they're kind of getting ready to do their drinking. Norris goes to the table. Smelly Joe wanders yeah, off like... to a completely different part of the map. <laughs> that's a card game, isn't it? You I know that's the cards. that's the that's the, the high stake card game. You have to win the other table oh. first. Vice? Vice? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, old man. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so uh -huh. I just I, I just take a seat on, on that table. I'm like... All right, you well, slump first down. The challenge is finding the... <laughs> the, the, halfling and, the halfling and the two humans kind of look at you like mildly surprised. It's like, you, uh, you joining in? Yeah. This is... What rules are this? Uh, we're playing uh, Taldori Tarot. Uh, it's twenty gold buy-in. I see. You gotta be lightweight, but sure. You don't have to. Oh, you gotta be doing what I think you're doing. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> what I'm like, yes. I mean, it would make more sense for it to stand there. <laughs> that's slightly more suspicious. <laughs> it's an owl it the entire way across the room. Is it just flying there? Oh, or is right. it, I mean, it could go up in the rafters, no, no. I suppose, and like look down. Yeah, the, yeah, the owl go up in the. The owl want to go somewhere con inconspicuous. Yeah, I mean, like oh, a couple of people's cars. There, there are like the room is like thirty foot high. It's quite a tall room, and there are rafters, like a peak seat. Oh. So well, it, actually, this place is underground. Up. So it's probably quite a low ceiling. Actually, like now I think about it, because this is an underground oh, bar. Uh, so it's actually not particularly high. But there, there are rafters that can like hide in. Right. Okay. Rogue potion wouldn't have been a good idea then. Uh, Rogar, it's actually you were in the right direction the first time. The archery's out here. Okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah, no, it's. it's I'm, it's I'm not here. trying to break Matt's game, by the way, but no, no, this is this is what D&D's all about. Fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm looking have you met my other characters <laughs> <laughs> all right well, so like the part. what game do we want to do shoulders. do we want to do first let's do the fight let's yes do the fight because the, the fight, fight. 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 fight nice all right so lucian you square off there's this huge guy and you cronk just cracks his neck, <laughs> hefts his battle axe. The hobgoblins are cheering him. This big, like, burly half orc with a messed up face is watching along with this, like, small goblin lady who are both <laughs> watching kind of more curiously, but the whole the whole room's paying attention. Behind you, you can hear Smelly Joe and Nors, like, in, they're, they've, they're kind of midway into their card game. You think Rogar's outside Ooh, doing his thing. People are drinking. And yeah, you're kind of the center of entertainment. Uh, I think we just need to just fuck it, roll initiative. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Uh, where is my initiative? Um, I I'm gonna cast heat metal on the half ogre's armor, and <laughs> Lucian can just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I don't actually have that spell. I'm only joking. All right. Uh, eighteen <laughs> for the ogre. Fifteen for you. So the ogre is gonna go first. So the ha well, I should mm -hmm. say half ogre. He's not a full blooded ogre. He gives out an angry roar. Like, just charges ahead, like, bull rushes you and swings his battle axe, trying to, like, slam it into your armored shoulder. Roar! <laughs> Holy oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy motherfucker. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, for Starting off strong. 25 damage. Just smashes his axe into your right. shoulder, barrels you into the ground, <laughs> and then just starts Man. kicking you in the face and ribs. Yeah? 
Matt, Matt it, is, roll, it isn't right? 25 damage. You rolled 2d6. You're meant to be rolling 2d10. N yes, apparently oh, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Is this critical? Yeah. No, I, I forgot landed. that it, he had the two already because he was like a big brute. Okay. Uh, so 2d10 instead. 12. Okay. So that's oh, 29 <laughs> damage as you were slammed into the ground. And he just starts like kicking you around oh. the face and chest like over and over again. Um, you're kind of stunned <laughs> on the ground for a bit as he stamps on your head like two good hard times. And then it's uh, your turn. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I regret everything. Uh, I'm sorry, Lucian. I didn't know. This idea was mess. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> he like, grabs your head hard. and starts trying to Oberyn Martell you. Uh, shouting, <laughs> thank you that for that's pretty that's armor! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll cast Shield of Faith on myself. Because <laughs> that would have made a what difference. Little bit <laughs> I'm like double checking my input. Like, did I just write roll a 20? Nope, it's fine. It's just... oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'll try to. Yeah, you, from you... my you know, relatively low height as I'm getting up, I'm going to aim, try to aim for the crotch gap in the armor. Yeah, because the cod piece did not fit. You tried for a good wee while to get on. <laughs> no. Uh, that hits uh, for ten. He goes as you like slam him in the in the crotch area with your spear butt, and he lets go of your head for a second. Is that you? And oh, that's probably a really really bad idea. Hmm. Yeah, I'll move over here. All right, so you move over to the the medic. You like. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. kind of leaning against the edge heal? of that. Heal? Do you heal? Heal? <laughs> heal? heal? All right, well, <laughs> he hurtles after you, swings his axe, and takes damage. Yeah. Oh well. First of all, he got an attack opportunity as you moved away. He did. Yes. Yeah. So that was his attack of opportunity. Then he charges after you. He takes damage. How much was it? Uh, two G eight. Wow. So... Pretty good. Uh, could you roll that for me? Whoa! Like there's a so Not what do, what does your booming blade look like? Because this is like a big effect. Well, I've actually added a bit to the description, so it actually sounds a lot like a fart <laughs> whoever it stabs in, and whoever gets stabbed has this awful, awful feeling of flatulence, so that whenever they move, it just goes everywhere. Oh, and oh, there's an explosive fart. But when you say it sounds like a fart, you've got to be more descriptive. Is it a squeaker? <laughs> yeah. Is, is it a roar? Is it quite squelchy? Oh, this is definitely a roar. This is thunder damage. So, World renowned monster hunters here, everybody. This, this is 15 <laughs> thunder damage. Uh, 20 for 19, but that misses you, doesn't it? That does not hit. Yeah. No. So he makes a good. He like rolls with a big. <laughs> Noise. He like grabs his backside and staggers. The whole room hears it. <laughs> People start laughing. Any, anybody in the party have anything to say about this display? Uh, he blew my cards out of my hand. How am I supposed to play like this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it seems Finch has just resigned to this being the, the party yeah. of of legendary monster hunters he seems to have joined uh Lucian it's your go um he looks actually like he's almost out of it like he staggers he's he, he's leaving himself wide open I, I'll do my best to take the opportunity then booming blade do you just get to cast that over and over again or as a cantrip isn't it's it it's a cantrip it's a really strong cantrip yeah. I'm gonna use that one day um I'm just looking. So it lets you do one d it lets you do one d eight on top of just a normal attack. Yeah, yeah. It's because it's got onto fifth level. It advances as a cantrip does. Okay, yeah. That's... but you can't extra attack. Oh, okay. Yes. So you can only make one attack. You couldn't do like two free attacks. Yeah. Okay, so I see. Like, extra kind of... attack actually does more damage in those situations. Uh, you hit him. Um, 
was this your like lethal or non-lethal? I guess is the question. Uh, non-lethal. I, I kind of like this guy, even though he just tried to. You know, yeah, you respect that initial I'm not strike. I'm sure what he tried to do to me. I, I'm not with it enough to understand what he just did to me. Yeah, you you crack him in the side of the head with the butt of your spear. He tumbles and falls backwards and lands on the ground unconscious. And then fire. <sighs> <laughs> oh, oh, that, that was. What are you guys feeding this guy? <laughs> oh, get that man some greens. <laughs> oh, 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 jeez. Yeah. Well, I'm, I can't drag this guy, but uh, I guess you win, <laughs> Lucian. Well done. You can you can go downstairs and fight the I'll champ help. in a few I'll... minutes. That's fine. I can heal him. And he actually he does uh, he does bring him up to one hit point. He's like, Ugh. Ugh. oh, why is my arse so sore? Well, I, <laughs> oh, it's bleeding. <laughs> oh, who? He, he stamps over to Lucian and goes, "You." I'll pat him on the shoulder. You, you fought well. Reach high up and goes, "I like you, shiny red man." It's almost like I've been charmed by being near you for more than a minute. And he picks you up <laughs> in his arms and gives you a big, tight squeeze. You take one point of damage. Uh, 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 yeah, and then he, he puts you. you back down. Uh, He's like, we friends now. Yes, yes, we are, we are good friends. What is your name, fine sir? I'm um, Kronk. 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 Good, good to meet you. I am Lucian. Lucy. Lucian. Lucy. It'll do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll watch you fight champion later. He's strong. I wanted to beat him, but you probably got better chance. Thank you for shiny armor. I cannot take it off. Well, I can try to help with the straps. That might help a no, no, never mind. I think I, th I think that's yours. Why don't you <laughs> rub the righteous butter on him? And he, I'm uh, not living up the half ogre. <laughs> and him and the uh, hobgoblin, <laughs> him and the um, bugbears, all wander off and walk down the stairs. That were next to the uh, okay. big guy. Yeah, they're cheer. They, they grab you their drinks money and make their way down. Abandoning their drunken goblin friend. Who might Quite be dead, solid. you're not sure. Uh, cool. Yeah, so that's that. You you won soundly. Well done. Uh, what do we... I mean, you after a strong start, uh, you, you pulled it off. What does the... Uh, what do we want to do next? Yes, let's move on to someone else. Oh, uh, the medic does come and give you some healing. So, how does the healer's feet work again? It's oh. 1d6 plus... I also can See? give some actual healing. He yeah, heals you for... What? Hit dice taken. Yeah, so you are it's level 5. Really plus his wisdom, yes. which is, I'm going to say, 1. You heal 10 hit points as he kind of patches you up. He, you know, Thank kind you. of goes. Wow, he really stomped on your head a lot. Uh, <laughs> he, he did. Does he usually do it like that? I mean, I, I think he likes you, so he went a bit easy on you. Uh, oh, <clears throat> I, I think I, I think he damaged a. Oh. Yeah, it. I mean, just it's fine. It, it's. I'm sure it used to creak like that when I when it was. Yeah, it's good. Looks okay. Um. Yeah, so which game do you want to move on to next? Uh, I'll probably just, like, fail this drinking one very quickly, so let's get that out of the way. All right, so <laughs> yeah. you're sitting at this table. All these kobolds are watching. And, yeah, they, they bring out... They, they put, like, a mug of ale in front of everyone, and then they drop a glass of... Then they, there's a glass of whiskey next to it, and they're like, all right... All right, my friends, all right. Let's go over the game. I'm the jester, la la la. What you have to do 
is you have to drop the whiskey in and drink. Don't vomit, don't pass out, and don't stop halfway through. Do this, and if you're the last man standing, you win and win a night in the VIP lounge for you and one of your friends. Doesn't that sound splendid? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Probably be too wasted to figure it out, but okay. I wish they'd fire this <laughs> fucking jester. Oh, that's not <laughs> nice. I'm just here doing my job. Well, you're shit at it. I hate you, orc <coughs> person. Go to hell. And yeah, you're all there. So what I need you to do, Finch, let me give me a second just to open up yeah. some character sheets, but we'll basically be doing con saves. They'll start at 10, and they'll get progressively more difficult with every round you have. Um, okay. If you fail three con saves, uh, you're out. If um, gotcha. if you fail one, you're poisoned because you're now pretty drunk. So you'll be at disadvantage in all your con saves. So you know, it gets progressively harder to keep your drink down. Cool. So let me just <sighs> find. Right. Uh, let's let's have at this. All right. So just give me a second to find the character numbers. sheets. How, how, how's your con well, do? You're relatively conny, aren't you? Pretty good. Well, Alright, five, so you're going to pass your first one. Uh, give me just a second to find all my uh, my various contestants here. Uh, so I'm looking for well, a... That's right. uh, I accidentally turned the volume down to nothing for a second there, so I got <laughs> very confused. Yeah. Con saves, starting at ten, getting progressively more difficult. Uh, you don't want to fail... If you fail your third co three times, you lose. So you've got two fails, and then the third one will take you out. Cool. So that's my that's one, two. Just make sure they're public. See, yep, yep. Uh, an orc. Because there's an orc drinking with you. Because you keep good company in this place. <laughs> and I just roll manually for the dwarf. That's a plus five. Okay. So you pass your first one. The orc drops his whiskey in uh, and downs it. Pretty conny. He passes handily, handles it like a champ. The cobalt, who's getting all the cheering from his cobalt brethren, drops one in. Oh my god, downs it like oh, a champ. Oh. Fucking <laughs> puts on his head, oh my cheers. The big burly human berserker downs it handily as well. And finally the dwarf uh, he's gonna be the one to beat. Uh handles it uh nicely as well. Oh, we'll just get everyone's this fine then. Two D twenty keep highest, is it? Keep H? H1 plus 5. Or, or, or drop 1. Uh, K1 would do it. K1 would do it, yeah. K1. That'll keep the highest one. Cool. Yeah. That's for my dwarf. Because obviously, being a dwarf, he's good at drinking. So, yeah, everyone downs their first pint, burps, blah, and are fine. So they put more drinks in front of you. The cobalt, and now the difficulty's 11. Cobalt downs one. <laughs> <laughs> you down one, so that's one fail for you. The berserker yeah. is fine. The orc sloshes one back. Fine. And the dwarf. Yeah, no trouble. They all do it. The cobalt kind of goes. It's very strong. Ugh. And uh, yeah, and it just goes. Good start, my friends. Very good start indeed. Keep up the drinking. Um, more drinks go in front of you. Con save. Con save. Con save. Yay. So, uh, the drug, the cobalt downs another one. He had disadvantage as well. Downs another one. Uh, meaning that's it. Drinks it. Goes. And just throws up all over the table. 
And they go, oh, oh Jesus. that's the cobalt out. He fucked up royally, didn't he? I guess it's true what they say about cobalts. That they're an inferior vermin race and should be wiped from the face of the planet. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> the cobalt I like that, Jester. He speaks <laughs> the truth. I'm pretty sure I remember that statement right there. <laughs> uh, the cobalt looks, like, offended, joins his brother in, and they all leave the bar. They're like, eh, fuck this guy, and they just wander off. Charge out. Bye. Angry. Oh, apparently taking the barmaid with them. That's a bit concerning. <laughs> <laughs> she, she comes scampering <laughs> back. God, wait a Wait a minute. This is a real winner. Type, guys. <laughs> ah, cool. <laughs> so now the different. Leave diff- their unconscious friend. <laughs> Again, yeah. I'm pretty sure they were here for ulterior reasons. Like, yeah. You know. I mean, that, I think that's just a stereotype. If right. You- if they put more drinks in front of you. Behind. <laughs> I mean, if you if you fail in Vasselheim, they just abandon you. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! So but, the orc uh, fails. I, I shouldn't have rolled for the cobalt again. He, he the cobalt dies of alcohol poisoning later tonight. It's pretty <laughs> sad. <laughs> Down uh, two. Is that you failed too? Uh, that was my second fail. Yeah. That's you out. Uh, Three and out. So. Didn't you? Um, it's, it's like if you fail. Yeah, I guess that's the, the cobalt. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, if you fail for one, so you are, you are poisoned though, so you're going to be at disadvantage from now on. Um, oh. and if you fail one more, you're. Uh, out. I'm going to belch very loudly into this just into this dwarf's face to try and distract him. <laughs> All right. I just got to like put the most noxious smell possible into his face. Lovely, charming. Do you want to try and give him a uh, disadvantage? Uh, yes. <laughs> All right, roll a quick performance check for me. Oh, this is going to go so well. Huh. Yeah, I think he's got disadvantage. So he gets the first one, which is a nine, but he still passes. Because dwarf. Yeah. Look, yeah. I'm good at this. I'm a dwarf. <laughs> uh, right. The next round comes. The uh, berserker right. takes a drink. He's not lost a single round yet, but he loses this one. He goes, Bruh, too strong. <laughs> Thanks to Smelly Joe. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, oh, that's horrendous. <laughs> the smell inspires me. The orc. The orc fails his second one. The orc's actually looking pretty drunk now. And the dwarf downs his. Ooh. Starting to hit him too, but he's okay because we're at 13 now, aren't we? Yes. Yes. So the next one should be 14 to beat. Yeah. More drinks are put in front of you. You are drunk by this stage. Like, you know, you're yeah. drinking whiskey and, and ale. I, I would be thing. leaning heavily on the dwarf to try and annoy him as much as possible. Yeah, I mean, you're successfully annoyed. Oh, the orc. I'm just gonna... The orc downs his drink, ah. puts it on his head, smiles proudly, and falls backwards, landing on the table, just falling unconscious. And the jester goes, Oh, uh, uh-huh. oh dear, it looks like the orc couldn't handle his drink. Ha-ha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pulls out a knife and slits the orc's throat. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I think I failed as well. Uh, All right. Uh, so... as, as I throw up, I'm going to aim it towards the dwarf's drink. Oh, that's just mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, you, you successfully do that. Now. You hurl up into the orc's dr- the dwarf's drink. Um, he, you know, vomit goes everywhere. Um, he looks at you like disgusted, and then like gives you a shove, and you fall off the table and like collapse onto the ground. <laughs> Jesse goes, "Oh no! Oh dear! Yeah. The large man went down. Whatever shall we do?" Hmm. I don't. I know grabbed enough- his hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Off I go. Everything's Back fine off. here. Back off. Next round. It's you continue, to. continue to get difficult. I just need to know who's like in the room. Uh, oh, orcs doesn't yeah. count. So, con save. Uh, oh, the berserker fails again. Mm. He's now pretty damn drunk. Meanwhile, the dwarf. <laughs> uh, yeah, the dwarf wins. 
<laughs> what is with these double crits? The, the, the dwarf takes like a big, big long drink and then looking the other guy in the eye, just reaches down, picks up a bottle of whiskey they've been doing with, with puts a straw in the bottle of whiskey, and straw pedos the entire bottle and puts it on the table. <laughs> oh my god. And the berserker just stands up and goes, no, that ain't right. I'm out. That is not right. I am out. <laughs> that is fucked up. And he just walks away. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, bye, sir. Bye, d- 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 uh, one of our many gods. What's wrong with that guy? <laughs> Dwarf's like, <laughs> fuck all y'all. And goes, I'm going to get myself VIP drinks. And then goes off somewhere. Uh, as he tries to get off the table, I'm just going to like pull it out from under him. And just kind of whack his legs a little bit. Yeah! God, you dick! And he just, like, hobbles <laughs> off, like, annoyed. I'll, I'll get you someday! Uh, right, so... That's that. Yeah, I gotta stay on the floor for a while. You're gonna stay on the floor? Yeah, so, you don't have much choice in that yeah. matter. <laughs> I might roll around a bit, just to, to gather some of the, the, floor, the floor stench onto myself, but that's about it. Well, there we have it. Once again, the dwarf wins. Third week in a row. That guy is using his inborn racial advantages to get the one up on everyone, which I think is not right. He should check his privilege. Anyway, next up, archery, (laughs) all the card games. Which have been going probably for like 20 minutes because it's a card game. But, you know. Yeah. I mean, you, you, have to, you have to imagine, like, when this starts, like, yeah, I'm just, like, ordering like, the most greasy-ass fried chicken to, like... Oh, yeah. And right. you're touching all the... every All the cars <laughs> with the greasy cars. fingers. <laughs> and everyone's looking yeah, at you, like... Makes them easier to count. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, do you want to do the archery next, or... Well, if you don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> Let, uh, let's see Rogar's archery yeah, first. Yeah, Okay. Uh, if anyone wants to move outside so they can see what's going on in the archery, that's that's fine. I can see through the door. You can see through the door. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I kind of crawl my way that direction. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, go watch the archery. Um. Right. So. I think I'm going the wrong going... way. <laughs> the the big guy picks you up and carries uh, you okay. to the archery out the back door. <laughs> All right. That is so... very impressive. The yeah, but he managed it. The um, there are several archers lined up. Uh, kind of a a middle-aged balding fellow with a crossbow who looks kind of desperate. Um, uh, an actual like sort of huntry looking archer, similar to maybe uh, you know, the kind of guys you see like working around Vasselheim hunting skins. And then a fellow who looks like he's from um, I forget the na- the city that has the bronze dragon as its ruler. But, you know, uh, kind of has Uncreal? a swarvy uh, tan... Uncreal, yeah. An Uncreelian man with um, a curved bow. And there's several targets out in front of you, um, which you can take shots at. So, it's a it, it's a twenty it's a 25 gold buy-in to play. But, if you win, you get to go to the um, fine place down below uh, for free drinks, and you win the pot of 100 gold. Alright, I'll remove 25 gold then. Cool, so you hand 25 gold. There's this, like, horribly ugly, like, half-orc lady who's, like, kind of moderating the whole thing and watching over it. She takes the gold and hangs on, takes the gold from the others, and the uh, the kind of bald and middle-aged guy, she goes, Oh, that's the last 25 gold I've got to my name. But don't you worry, old Gil's got it in him. I bought this crossbow, I've got a fine shot, and I'm... I'm gonna make it big. You just you watch, and maybe my wife will come back. Shut up. <laughs> right, you are, sir. Is not making it big the problem? Right. So, in front of you, there are five targets. One of them is on a wee wheel that's spinning around. Uh, that's this one here. There's like a wee cobalt like turning a crank and spinning this little wheel as fast as it can. Uh, and the others are all stationary. Basically, you got to roll an attack on each of these. We'll do them one at a time. If you get the bullseye, which is a little harder, you get three points. 
get uh, inner ring, which is again a little, a little less difficult. You get uh, two points, uh, and if you get the outer ring, you get one point. And if you miss, you get no points. And I'll tell you the AC before you roll. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll be back there in a sec, guys. Just got decent. Cool, cool. So, the first target they're gonna they point out the half orc they points out is this one over here, nice and close by. Hitting it would just be a ten. A bullseye would be a twelve AC. All right. Well, plus eight. So. Plus eight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, you, you get a bullseye. Mark yourself um, t three points. The okay. other guys all line up and one by one they take their they take their shots while my cat tries to eat my feet as is tradition every game. So let me just, I'm just trying to put this, put all their things in. So I'm just going to, hopefully this works. Is your cat called Hurt Clock by any chance? Uh, no, but I should rename her to that. Okay, so each of these guys fire. Gil hits and gets himself three points. Uh, sorry, yeah, three points. The two professional archers miss the target entirely. <laughs> they kill the kobold that's turning the They crown. possibly do. Uh, actually, the, the last archer is going idea. to use his archer's eye ability to add a d10. Ow! That's my cat. Uh, five. So he, he should miss, but he uses his ability to crank himself up. So he gets a bullseye as well. You can see this guy spends a little more time aiming. Really kind of peers down the sight. <laughs> fires. Goes right into the target. And he kind of smiles and nods his head approvingly. Uh, Gil, like, goes, Ah, see, I told you, I'm going to make it. Don't you worry, I'll see my kids again by the end of the week. Uh, yep. And yeah, that's that. And one second while I remove my cat from the room. Would you like to take a quick break here, guys, while I deal with um, animal control? Yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah cool. All right. More tea. More tea. Okay. More drink.